What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Samurai Radio Sports Network. And today we're going to be talking about the Miami Dolphins fans versus the Miami Dolphins players. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't something that's been this huge outbreak. It's not something that's, you know, kind of rocked the, the world of the Miami Dolphins. Of course, the Dolphins can't be rocked enough already, considering the fact that the team is 0-4. However, the Miami Dolphins did have a little bit of a hiccup, I would have to say, today, where there was kind of not necessarily a war, but there was a little bit of a Jerome Baker against some Dolphins media people, uh, such as a, you know, Houts on Twitter, uh, some other people chiming in as well, them giving their own opinions. There was also situations that we had Daniel Kilgore who mentioned something. Let's just dive into this very quickly. So I'm going to put up a graphic here and try to get myself a little bit smaller. This is what we're going to do. We're going to play Daniel Kilgore's audio here, and this is what Kilgore had to say about the situation currently with the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, we still have a job to do, and, and we're paid to go out and win ball games. And also, we're not winning ball games. We got to do our jobs better. But no, it, I'm still a competitor. This team's going to compete their ass off, and we're going to go out on Sunday and, and, and go to win. And as as much as I'm sure everybody wants us to lose to secure that number one overall pick, I don't give a damn. We're going to go out and win. Listening to that, you could tell that. He said that they're not going to just the, the players aren't going out there to tank every single day. They're not going out there to tank every single game and to just put themselves in a position where, oh, they have to win and this, this and that and yada, yada, yada. They're putting themselves in a position to continue to win and play. And they understand that they're 0 four. They understand that right now they're not in the best situation. People are saying tank for Tua. They're quoting the tank bowl, which is coming this Sunday against the um, Washington Redskins and then tank ball two in week 16 against Cincinnati Bengals. All the players see this, all the players understand this. And Kilgore had that to say when it comes to Jerome Baker, <clears throat> it's a different story. He went on saying that people who are rooting for this team to lose aren't real fans. And there were some people that had some issues with it and some that didn't. I was part of the crowd that didn't necessarily have any issue with it. Not necessarily that you're not a real fan, but if you're not, Rooting for your team to win on Sunday. Look, I don't care what you're doing Monday through Saturday. On Saturday, if you're watching Tua, on during the week, if you're watching any, you're looking at analytics, you're looking at stats, you're watching highlights, you're watching tape. I personally don't care. Do what you need to do as a fan. But for some of us, for like I guess for myself included, you know, we want on Sunday we want them to win. I went to the Los Angeles Chargers game and I was with one of my friends. Um, shout out to one of my employees podcast members podcast members on the pro football network because he hooked me up with some tickets and i went with one of my friends and he was rooting for his fantasy team he said you know the dolphin season i'm rooting for them to tank he really wants tua and he wanted the Chargers to win really bad and he wanted them to win because of a bunch of fantasy stuff and yada 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 and whatever right but i personally didn't care we stuck through the whole entire game and every single play every single Everything, every minute of the game, I wanted the Miami Dolphins to go out there and win. I didn't care about Tua, and of course, I'm a part of the crowd, and if you don't really, if you want to see more evidence, just go through my YouTube channel, you'll find it, that I am a part of the Josh Rosen crowd. I'm one of the people who really liked Rosen. I'm one of the people that really wants to keep Rosen the Dolphins quarterback, but at the same time, I do think that there needs to be competition. Whether Rosen is a starting quarterback next year or not, the Miami Dolphins obviously this year aren't doing that great. But what we need to do is continue to root for them to win on Sundays. And I think that a lot of fans, from Monday to Saturday, they want the team to tank. But on Sunday night, Sunday afternoon, we don't play on Sunday nights. <laughs> on Sunday afternoon, not primetime games, early afternoon, you know, 10 p.m. on the West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast, or 10 a.m. on the West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. You know, I haven't done videos in a while. It's just really been a lot of talking. And so I don't have to watch myself. So it's kind of weird. Um, I had to... <sighs> just it'll be okay but like i said it seems as if a lot of people from monday to saturday they'll be fine with the team losing but when it comes to sunday they're going to root for their team to win and that's something that i understand jerome baker and i get it if you're rooting for your team to lose on sunday you're not really a real fan and i feel that not in a way of saying it doesn't matter how long you've been a fan it doesn't matter this i understand that there are people older than me i'm 21 years old I've only been a Dolphins fan for 20 years of my lifetime. And even then, for half of that, I was a split Dolphins fan and Giants fan. So, or until I was like 12, 13, I was a Dolphins fan and a Giants fan. I still have my Giants football from when they won the Super Bowl in 2007. 
they were selling Sports Illustrated stuff, and I my dad bought it for me, and I still have it to this day, 2019. Still got it. I'm a Dolphins helmet. I have a Dolphins football there. My Dolphins flag. Like I'm a Dolphins fan. Of course, I'm a Giants fan as well, but there are people that are older than me, and they obviously have their own feelings about the Dolphins, and of course, there's some people that saw Marino. There's some people that saw the tail in Marino. There's some people that have lived through more pain than younger Dolphins fans like myself, or even some a couple years older than me, even into the 25s. They haven't seen the same Dolphins as some people from the past have, so I could understand if they are looking for the Dolphins to tank, not because they want to see them lose, and not that they're really hardcore rooting for them to lose. They just want to see something different, and I can understand that. It's been a tough road as a Dolphins fan for years now. Even through the Adam Gase, even through the Jay Ajayi 200-yard rushing games, it's been hard to watch the Dolphins play. You get a stretch of Tannehill being good, and then all of a sudden he's bad again. You get Adam Gase making him look like a good quarterback and being a good offensive play caller, and then you get a, a, a draw play on a third and 15. Like, it hasn't been easy. So... Although, and I've contradicted myself probably so many times in this video, but although I think that the Miami Dolphins fans should be rooting for their teams to win on, on for the team to win on Sunday, I understand why some people want them to lose. I get it. Not a lot of people like the current situation of the Miami Dolphins. They want Tua. They want Fromm. They want Lawrence. They want Herbert. They want Love. They want whoever it is that will come in and make a difference. I, however, I'm one of the people that thinks that Josh Rosen will make a difference in the future if i'm wrong i'm wrong whatever quarterbacks the miami dolphins draft next year because they should not if when they draft a quarterback next year whether it's in the first round second round i don't care whoever's competing with rosen next year to be the starting quarterback whoever wins that i will continue to root on until they make mistakes beyond my wildest beliefs because being a fan is being a fan and i will root for the team to win but for those who think and for those who want the dolphins to lose i gotta be honest i understand